who is self-proclaimed prophet Abraham Scholl, and what is his mission? Hello, welcome to other GTB South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Self-proclaimed prophet Abraham Scholl Market is the religious leader of Kuch International Church. Early July 2021, he prophesied that President Salva Kiir and Fed Vice President Dr. Yak Mashar will leave power before July 9, the South Sudan Independence Day. Thereafter, he was arrested alongside his associates, with whom he spent over a year in detention. Recently, he was convicted by Juba Special Court of violating sections 72 and 202 of the South Sudan Penal Court Act 2008. Section 72 penalizes possessing dangerous weapons and Section 202 penalizes abuse of a religious noble belief. The presiding judge, Samia Mohammed, sentenced Prophet Abraham Chol to 31 months in jail. Judge Samia Mohammed also convicted Prophet Abraham Chol of insulting the president of South Sudan and ordered him to pay a fine of 500,000 South Sudanese pounds or serve additional three months in jail. To our viewers, we are not here to support or condemn self-proclaimed Prophet Abraham Scholl or his state, but rather discuss four reasons we think the state has overreacted in dealing with him. Number one, lack of financial resources. Prophet Abraham Scholl does not have deep pockets to sponsor masses to attend his prophetic or revolutionary rallies. Additionally, he does not have financial might to pay the media fraternity to cover his prophetic or revolutionary rallies. As such, he does not force any risk to the government of South Sudan. This tells us that Prophet Abraham needs to be left alone and focus on more pressing issues, e.g. poor economy, famine, etc. affecting South Sudanese. Number two, lack of military experience. Prophet Abraham Scholl does not have any military experience or skill to organize our disciplined forces to overthrow the government of South Sudan. This puts in question Section 72 of the South Sudan Penal Code Act 2008. Knowing this fact, the government should release Prophet Abraham Scholl. Who knows, he may decide to rear cattle rather than issuing poll prophecies. Number three, erratic behavior. We are not psychiatrists of Prophet Abraham Scholl to evaluate his sanity, but can approximate that he may not be sane. The government should have waited for the fulfillment of his prophecy concerning President Kiir and paid by President Dr. Yak Mashar leaving power before July 9, 2021. The government has a more important job to do than expanding energy on characters like Prophet Abraham Scholl. Hence, it is advisable for the government to release him. He's going to wreck himself by dishing out unverified prophecies. Number four, lack of public support. For all the time he had been in detention, life has continued normally. In fact, most South Sudanese just became aware of self-proclaimed Prophet Abraham Scholl from the media regarding his case. No South Sudanese had demonstrated or protested on behalf of Prophet Abraham Scholl. Thus, it is advisable for the government to release him. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to South Sudan Global.